Dallas Area Rapid Transit has a couple of updates that are sure to please riders because they mean more service. DART's Assistant Vice President for External Relations, Gordon Shadows, is here to tell us all about them. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Yeah, and let's start with GoLink. What's the good news there? I'll tell you, great news for GoLink. Of course, GoLink has been a fantastic thing for DART and especially our riders. Right now, we're at 30 zones across the DFW area. Beginning on January 23rd, we're going to expand the hours of service. Right now, we're going to go those hours from 5 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week, which is now certain weekend service for all of our routes, but especially those extended hours for people who work tr non-traditional hours. And for some people, this concept, the term GoLink, is still one that's new. Remind us how this service works and benefits riders. Tell you, GoLink was first designed to serve that wonderful first mile, last mile concern that most of our riders have. How do I get to a bus station? How do I get to a train station? So that's where the impetus behind GoLink came from. Now, of course, we realize the real importance of GoLink is to serve those areas who may not have the need or requirements for fixed route or a bus service, to be able to be able to provide that GoLink service to get them to a rail station, to the hospital, to the doctor's office, to see friends inside that particular zone. Uh, our riders have really appreciated it and we're always looking for new ways to make that service even better. Yeah, one of my colleagues here uses it and gives it good reviews. So a lot of people are familiar with what it takes to ride a bus or maybe light rail, but what do you need to do to take advantage of this GoLink service? So we of course have our GoPass, our GoPass app, which is a, a fantastic service for our, our riders. Gives them the ability to plan their trip as well as pay for it. So the easiest way to use GoLink, of course, is through that GoPass app. If you're in that particular zone, you're able to go inside there, book your trip, pay for it as well. Now, GoLink is free as long as you have an active pass. So if you've, got a, if you've already paid your $3 for an afternoon ride on a bus and a train, that GoLink's gonna be free. Now, for those folks who don't have an, a, a phone, you know, I know we come to expect everyone has an iPhone nowadays, a lot of people don't. So we actually have a call-in number that will be able to schedule that for you and make sure that trip's available. A good service to know about. Let's move on to the other announcement you have. And this one involves bus service that had to be reduced because of labor shortages. What's the update? So in June of last year, of course, we had, a, unfortunately, like most transit agencies and really most, most uh, companies across the country, a labor shortage. So we reduced those hours on, our, on 31 of our bus routes. If it was a 20 minute, it was a 15 minute service, we took that to 20 minutes. If it was 20 minute service, we made it 30. Still wanted to make sure we had those buses on the road, just change the frequency. Now, of course, thanks to a huge hiring effort on our HR department, on our operations team, we now have those operators in place to bring that service back. In December, of course, we, were, we brought back nine of those core frequent routes, the most important routes for DART. Now, January 23rd, we're gonna bring everything back, all 31 routes, 15 minute service, very similar to train, and I know to you, our riders, the ones I've spoken with, the people we keep surveying, the people we speak to on our platforms, they're looking for that additional service. Bringing the good news to our viewers, Gordon Shadows with DART. Thanks as always for keeping us updated. No, thank you, Thomas. And more information on all of this is at DART.org.